I'm walking into the store right now to get cigarettes. Tuesday morning. Early. <laughs> like really early. Like show the time. See how early that is? Yeah. <laughs> it is early. Um, just read a lot of articles online. The Apple announcement. Um, definitely interested to see what that's going to be like as far as um, their announcement of the supposed rumored iPad Mini. But there may be some other things um, either added or something else they'll talk about together, which is probably not the iPad Mini, but it's probably going to talk about the next Macintosh. Their, net, their next ultra thin uh, netbook or uh, notebook. Or it could be their, I mean, there are so many different things. Uh, it could be an announcement about improving the maps, you know, or or another feature of iOS 6 or 6.1. You know, it, it, um, there's so many different things that could come out of that. The uh, best announcement, of course, what a lot of Apple fans are hoping for is an iPad mini. It'll definitely be cheaper than the full-size iPad, and a lot more people can buy it. Would I buy an iPad mini? Yeah, I would. I'm not an Apple fan, but I'll get an iPad mini just like I want the Nexus 7. Nexus 7 is only $200. iPad mini is going to probably cost ballpark $200 to $300 which uh, is very affordable and uh, it will have it will give you all the features of um, all the features of iOS 6 and I think it'll be a neat little device do I want the Microsoft surface more hell the fuck yeah you know but um well see I mean all these announcements coming out this week from three major players I mean Google plan an announcement the same day that Microsoft's going to announce the release of the Surface. I mean, well, they already announced it, but it's uh, happening on the same day, which I think is, oh, no, wait a minute, that's the 29th. Ah. On the 29th, Google's going to make a big announcement on the same day that Microsoft is going to make, release, or reveal some of the features of Windows Phone 8. A lot of people are wondering if there is anything else to really tell from the release or from the announcement that happened back in June, if there's really anything else that could come forward as, as far as Windows Phone 8 is concerned. And it could be a lot of uh, uh, newspaper articles and uh, online articles are saying that there possibly cannot be anything new that could be added to Windows Phone 8. So I think feature-wise, specification-wise, I think it's going to be the same. I don't think nothing's going to be added. I mean, we already know about the NFC technology. We already know about the uh, different resolutions. I think uh, the two major announcements coming from Microsoft is going to be the models and the manufacturers, there's probably going to be some more manufacturers that's going to be announced that day. Samsung mentioned that the Ativ S is the first uh, Windows Phone 8 that they're releasing. They're probably going to have another model, probably a smaller, because you know the Ativ S is 4.8 inches. It's a really big phone. So who's to say that uh, Samsung is probably going to come out with a smaller phone? more compact, maybe a four inch screen or smaller. Probably the same size as the Focus. Okay. In fact, that's probably what they'll, what they'll do. Samsung Focus 8. I mean, who knows, right? You know, your guess is good as mine. Now, Nokia just announced uh, the Lumia 510 on their blog. It's not on their website yet, but it's on their blog. And that phone is supposed to go for $200 before uh, 
mobile uh, mobile operator subsidies. So for 200 bucks out of your pocket, you can own a Nokia 510. The only thing is, according to the website, it's only going to be released in Europe, India, and a lot of the poor countries that may not be able to purchase a Lumia 920. I kind of wish they did that here in the States because there are a lot of poor people here in America <laughs> who may want to purchase a phone for 200 bucks. In fact, like Cricket, if I can get a Windows Phone 8, and I believe the 510 is a Windows Phone 8, if I can get that for 200 bucks, or for a lot of people, you know, like I want a Windows Phone, but they're like 500, 600 bucks if I bought it through Cricket. Well, they can purchase a $200 one and get a similar experience. All right, I'm at the store and I'm going to check out for a bit.